Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The unique performance criteria of LCH Prachand and being able to deliver at high altitude warfare has put Indian Armed Forces leaps ahead of other countries. The helicopter is unmatched when it comes to the performance. The slow speed performance at lower flight altitude and good standoff distance for attack makes this helicopter lethal, accurate and force multiplier especially for the infantry. At present, LCH has a standoff range of 4 to 6 km. This range is provided by FZ-275 LGR that is Laser Guided Rocket Weapon System by Thales. The system supports both guided and unguided rockets. The guided rockets are quite good for precision attack. They are 70mm rockets having range between 1.5 to 7 km with circular error probability of 1 meter at 6 km range. For guidance, it uses SAL that is semi-active laser. LCH is already integrated with a laser designator which enables it to guide the laser guided rockets by Thales. The total mass of these rockets is 12.7 kg with a warhead of 4.1 kg. The warhead can penetrate 6 mm steel and has a lethal radius of 9 meter. The target against which these rockets are effective are soft and light armored vehicles, air defense facilities, radar sites, communication equipments and soft bunkers. The rocket has both day and night firing capability. LCH can carry maximum 4 rocket launchers two on each side and each pod can carry 12 rockets. In total, LCH can carry 48 rockets. This would have given you an idea about the existing standoff weapons capability of LCH. But the very next question which I am expecting and I see mostly in our comment section is what about anti-tank guided missile? The 70M rockets are not going to be effective against tanks because Tanks have heavy composite as well as explosive reactive armors. They also have laser warning system which alerts them when targeted by laser designator. Now this is where there is a need for modern anti-tank guided missiles. Now recently ex-chief of air staff RK Singh Baduria in an interview with Sansa TV told that the work is in progress on LCH to integrate new class of weapon having a standoff range of 20 to 30 kilometers. This range is no joke and it's massive. It will give Indian infantry complete dominance of battlefield on the ground. This huge standoff will also keep Prachand far from the reach of manpads and point air defense systems. The longer range air defense system will not be able to detect Prachand due to its low flight characteristics. But then the question is, which is this mysterious 20 to 30 km range standoff weapon. Now recently we have made a video on what is missing in LCH Prachand. In the video we have explained that Helena ATGM whose air force version is called Dhruvastra is planned to be integrated with LCH. The integration of ATGM has been fast tracked and is expected by the mid of 2023. However, the missile has range between 500 meters to 7 km only. However, the Air Chief Marshal R.K. Singh Baduria has said that a weapon will have standoff range between 20 to 30 km. Now this is hinting towards two possible missile integration which is either in progress or planned. The first one could be Spike NLOS. The reason why I am counting on this missile is because the Mi-17 V-5 of Indian Air Force is already being upgraded to fire Spike NLOS missile. Now this missile is a 4th generation multi-purpose electro-optical missile with real-time wireless data link. The electro-optical sensors of a spike has day and night sensors which enables it to operate in all weather day and night condition. The missile follows lofted trajectory for top attack where the tanks are most vulnerable. The missile has a reported range of 25 km. Now this missile can also be fired from Indian Air Force Apache attack helicopters. Therefore, it does make sense to integrate the missile with LCH as well. In the year 2020, the US Army has announced its intention to procure Spike and LOS missiles to be mounted on Apache helicopters. A test was conducted in March 2021 where the Apache 64E fired Spike NLOS 
at a target 32 km away and scored a direct hit. The second missile could be indigenously developed SANT or Standoff Anti-Tank Guided Missile. It is again a fourth generation missile and an upgraded variant of Helena developed for long distance airborne anti-armor role. It is equipped with electro-optical thermal imager and a nose-mounted millimeter wave active radar homing seeker with an extended range of up to 15 to 20 kilometers. The missile has lock-on after launch and lock-on before launch capabilities. The most recent test of this missile was conducted by DRDO and Indian Air Force from Pokhran ranges on December 11, 2021. Spike and LOS or SANT. Either of these missiles are going to give huge standoff capability to LCH. At present, it is not clear which missile is being integrated. However, we can expect the details to be revealed soon as ATGM integration is planned to complete by the year 2023. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.